Listen to that sweet, sweet sound that we've added. Let's see how to add custom sounds to Minecraft. Alright, we found ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to add custom sounds to a Minecraft. And this is actually a very easy thing to do. Now, as you have probably heard in the intro, the sound is once again our small explosion, um, I guess, for the next videos or for the next tutorials where I do custom sounds, I should probably get a new sound. But for the time being, the old and the classics are going to do just fine. So to add a custom sound, what we will do is we will need to add a JSON file to our assets tutorial mod folder. So right click new file called sounds.json. So this is very important that this is plural, so sounds. And the contents are going to look like this. I'm going to copy them over. This is, of course, available in the description below, GitHub repository or individual gists as well. And you can see that this is going to be the name under which we will register this, the tutorial mod dot small explosion. So this one right here is the subtitle that displays if you have the well subtitles on. And then this refers to a sound. This has to be an OGG file under the following directory in tutorial mod right click directory sounds and then under here we need to have the small underscore explosion ogg like i said it has to be an ogg file it does not work otherwise or there are a lot of programs in which you can basically convert for example mp3s to ogg files so that should be no issue there whatsoever now we of course also need to register the sounds in some capacity and that's going to be done in a new package right here. So this is going to be the sounds package and here we will add the new Java class called mod sounds and the mod sounds Java class actually is fairly easy. So we'll just write everything out here. So this is a public static sound event which is called, called small underscore explosion and this is equal to the register sound event method which we'll create in just a moment and this is of course small explosion here right there and what we'll do is we'll make a private static sound event we'll register sound events with a string parameter called name and this will do the following it will first make an identifier from net minecraft util called id equals new identifier with our tutorial mod mod id and the name that we've passed in there and this will then return the registry dot register with the registry dot sound event comma id comma new sound event there you go with passing in the id here so this is basically what we need here and then last but not least we also want a public static void which is going to be the register sounds method right here and this will simply once again just system print out the registering mod sounds for the tutorial mod id this is once again not necessary however it does it's kind of nice to see that in the actual chat or the console once that is actually called and we will of course call this in our tutorial mod class once again at the very bottom here so we're going to say mod sounds dot register sounds and this will now register this sound. So this sound here, the small explosion is now registered. And then we'll also actually explosion. There you go. So now it's actually also written correctly. And now what we will be able to do is we will be able to call this sound event and play it. The idea is we're going to just play it when we right click with our dousing rod. So basically when we have found a block that works, then we're going to basically play the sound. How do you play a sound? Well, you need a world. And we actually, of course, have this world in here. So we can say context.getWorld.PlaySound. So we just need to call the PlaySound method. And for that, we can pass in the player. And then the position clicked. So this will be called for this specific player at this specific position. Then we can say mod explosion, And this is a sound category of ambient. And then 1F1F, one one F, meaning that the volume is going to be 1. And then the pitch is also going to be 1. So this is actually how easy it is to basically add a sound here. There's also one other thing. So if you, for example, wanted to change the sound of your blocks, put in the sound right here, as you can see, and this then requires a block sound group. And there you would need to actually make a new block sound group with all of these in there. So you would need a break sound, a step sound, a play sound, a hit sound, and a fall sound. And then of course, probably one one for the volume and the pitch as well. So this is how you would add basically different 
well, breaking and hitting and stepping sounds to your custom blocks as well. So that also works. But for the time being, we'll stick with this. The other thing, as I've just shown, is actually fairly easy as well. Right, and now after we've done this, let's hear if it works. All right, we find ourselves back in Minecraft and let's see. So if I right click on the block, there it is. And it only fires, of course, when I find a valuable. So if I right click the one where there is no valuables, then it doesn't fire. But here, there it goes. And it actually doesn't matter how far I'm away because I believe that this is actually called server wide in this case and basically comes from this direction all the way out. So that's actually how easy it is to add a custom sound. Right, once again, of course, all of the code available in the description below, GitHub repository or individual gists, but that would be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would, of course, appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So, yeah.